<coughs> Hello folks, Survivor Marty here. It's Friday. I promised I would start a new series of subsistence and here we are. It's not a new series. I don't know why I'm calling it a new series. It's a continuation of the current series which we had an issue on where everything messed up. Um, I lost a save for some reason. Not entirely sure what happened. So it's day one again. We don't have a base. We don't have anything at all. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Obviously, we got to get trees because that's a, you know, we're, we're going to need a lot of wood. Um, I don't know. don't know where we're going to build yet. I haven't quite decided that. It's going to be somewhere. And, of course, uh, now that I know how to fish and stuff, I won't be wasting, wasting resources like I was last time. So there's a few definite um, improvements that we will have this time around that we didn't have in the last episode. Let's go up to that tree up there and get some more wood. La -di da Off we go. There it is. Not hearing any animals around so it's all good. Let's get this one. Uh, what else? Beautiful view of the mountain over there. Back in, uh, you know, I do want to actually climb some of the big mountains in the world. That is something I want to do. It's on my, um, it's on my bucket list, if you like. So that's something I want to do. I haven't seen any cordage yet, but I'm sure we will. I'm highly certain we will see cordage and everything else that we uh, need to get started in this game. Um, that's a rabbit. That's a wabbit. A wily wily wabbit. Oh look there's a crate there. Let's go and say hello to it. Hello crate. What you got for me? Nice. Okay. So yeah. Um, just say subsistence. Beautiful game. Absolutely love it. The dev and his team work so tirelessly on this game and just every update just makes it better and better and better, you know. And that is what I appreciate about that. Because <laughs> some, some devs, they take their game, they get it to a state that they like it and then they do an update which completely changes things and ruins it. And then it's like you have to learn the game all over again because X, Y, Z has changed and it's like, uh, really? So, um, yeah, I won't mention any names, but it is a game I play on my channel. There's another grub tree. Let's go to that. Is that a carrot? Looks like a carrot, maybe. No, it's just fern. Fern. I don't know if it's fern, called fern in, in other games, but in real life I would call that like a fern, a fern bush. So, there's that. There we go. Alright, let's just keep going this way and see where we go and see what we get. We may or may not build on this lake. I don't know. I don't know. We might build in the same place we built last. Oh god, got a bit too close to that wolf. I should not run and talk. It gets a bit complex. My concentration tends to um, lose focus sometimes. Where is that wolf? I think we're safe. One more. There we go. All right. And we got two boxes. Nice, very nice. I like it when boxes just appear like that. It just makes stuff so much simpler. Why? Because I looked up. Okay. Blueberries, how are we on? We're all right on food. We don't need to 
I need to worry about that just yet. All right, let's go over the mini river over the other side and keep going around. So I've decided this time round, I'm going to do like wood farming and stuff off camera. And I will bring you guys in for like, I mean, I'll, <laughs> I say I'll do it off camera. I will record everything in case something interesting like a attack happens and then switch that into the next video of them by magic of editing and stuff basically. Yes. So that is uh, that is what we will do. Another grub tree. Let's grab that before uh, somebody else grabs it. Of course, there's no one else in the game, so uh, no one else can grab it. And even if they did, I would still be able to grab it because in multiplayer, you can get the same tree. So yeah. Is that some cordage up there? Or did it just look like cordage from afar? Which is also a possibility. Yeah, I think we're I think I was seeing stuff then. That's the other thing about this game, is you train your eyes to look for stuff and then you sort of see it but don't see it. And that can Oh god, there's a bear. Okay, let's run away from the bear. There's some cordage up here, though. Which we will grab. There we go. It's uh, no box, no. And we'll go up around here. Staying away from the top of the mountains because of cougars. Yes, cougars are real and they are a thing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. And they're not friendly. I mean, some people. I think somebody does have a cougar as a pet somewhere in the world, probably in America. Um, and I suppose if you have them from very, very young and you raise them around humans all the time, they probably are fine. But for the purposes of this game and the here and now, they are not fine. They are very not fine. See, we could even build here by this little waterfall, but I don't know if there's any fish in the river here, so... I think for fishing purposes, we'd have to go... all the way down. So it's probably not the best plan to build there. And that's all. Almost missed the cordage. Okay, yeah, that was just a a little deer. So we'll grab this one. Do 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 do. There's a bear there. We won't go up there. We'll leave him to it. And we'll continue. Ooh, let's grab that so that we got some more metal. Metal is useful. Metal is extremely useful. Let's keep going this way. There's a... Oh, hello. But I kind of want that box. So I might have to creep in and get it. If you weren't coming this way, that would be fantastic. But you are coming this way. Oh, run. Okay, there's uh, another wolf somewhere. I think he's... Yeah, he's chasing me. Let's see if we can lose him somewhere. I think we have. Let's see if we can double back and grab this box. Oh, 
Oh, can we? Can we? Yes, if we run. Oh, that was close. That was close, folks. That was ultra close. Oh. Whew, and breathe. All right, there's a grub tree up here. Yeah, see, fun things like that can happen and do happen. Um, that's what I mean by the magic of editing. I will bring you the best bits instead of just farming all the time. Oh, you're right there. Yeah. Jump. Jump. Oh, God, we've run out of stamina. Oh, goodness me. Ah, we've run out of stamina. Yeah, we might die. We might die, folks. Purely because we've run out of stamina. We got a little bit now. We might be all right. I think we bandaged ourselves just in time there. Oh, that wolf is so close. Okay. That was not fun. That is not fun at all. Jeez. Well, we've had a couple of jump jumps already today, you know, in the first 11 minutes of play. That's, um, yeah. Now we'll hopefully have a few minutes of peace and relaxation. I don't know where we're going, we're just walking. Walking, walking, walking. And seeing what we come across. There's some cordage there. Should probably grab that. Cordage. Always useful. Onward. Onward. Uh, yeah, I'm not actually sure where we're heading right now. We're just wandering. Wandering, wandering, wandering. Haven't had a huge, huge amount of boxes. But, you know, boxes will come. Boxes will come. Have we been this way already? I can't remember. Have we? Let's have a look at the map. No, we haven't. Okay. This is our lovely little lake that I think... Did we build on this one last time or was it the other one? It might have been the other one. There's like six lakes in this game. Okay, where are you? Oh no! Ah! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yeah! Didn't even see him. He was just like, I'm gonna eat you no matter what. So I was like, nope, I'm gonna run away. Run away! I want to double back around this rock because there was a box back here that I saw. And you know, I've missed a couple of boxes because of animal attacks, so I don't want to miss any more than necessary. Where, um. Right, there it is. I was going to say where was that box, but there we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, now well, let's carry on going about our day, our journey. Off we go. La bum bum bum. There's some cordage there. Should be able to get that one, I think. We shouldn't run because we haven't got huge amounts of stamina and uh, if we run out of stamina near animals well we already know how uh, how that goes 
not exactly great. More nails, awesome. That's like two walls and a foundation, so yeah. Hopefully, we'll do all right this time, folks, hopefully. Where are we now? Let me ascertain as to where we are. I think we're at the other, the other um, big section of water. There's a tree up there that we'll go and get. Yeah, so we'll go down here, grab this bit of cordage and go up for that worm tree. Look at that, folks. Look at the level of detail in this game. Clouds, birds. It's just... Graphically, sometimes you have to appreciate how beautiful things are, and this game is certainly... You know, it's in 4K. I mean, what more can you want? You know, it's in 4K. However, I'm not playing it in 4K because my monitor is not 4K compatible. And I don't intend on buying any new monitors for about two to three years. Because uh, I only got these 2017, 18. So, yeah, they're... Uh, yeah, the, the computer, the computer gets updated about every four, four years, three, four years. Um, and that did recently get updated to the um, 2080 chip. Sorry, 3080, not 2080. 3080, because it's, yeah, it's got all the ray tracing stuff and uh, all the other glorious gubbins. And I, I, I added more RAM this time. I also went AMD instead of Intel, which was a major change for me uh, because I haven't had an AMD chip since about 2011, I think, when the um, the sort of Celeron, AMD Celeron chips were around. Um, yeah, that was my old uh, my old AMD server back then. Probably would still run today and probably keep up because. They didn't overheat like uh, like the Intel chips sets do and did, so they uh, they don't require the mass amounts of cooling that Intel require. So yeah, I've got a Ryzen uh, in this machine, 64 gigs of RAM, a uh, five no a one terabyte M. MV2 SSD thing that's soldered to the motherboard, um, which all my games run on, and I've got to say, it makes certain game loading times just so much faster. Um, I don't know if any of you guys play Rust, but Rust for me used to take quite a while to load into a server. Uh, by the time I loaded all the assets and stuff, sometimes it would take five, ten minutes. Um, now it takes a maximum, a maximum of 60 seconds, depending on the server. It's usually about 30 seconds, which for that game, when it does wipe days and stuff, is phenomenal, phenomenally helpful. So, it's one of those things that I really do appreciate how, how much better that is. And then I've got a massive um, storage drive, which I store like all my data and video and stuff on, save files, um, which I do fairly often back up. It just wasn't backed up between the last uh, last save of subsistence. So, um, hence why we're here now.
So actually, a funny thing. One of my friends said, "Oh, you don't have a CD-ROM on 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 this machine," because I did on my last one. Um, I was like, "No," and they were like, "But why?" And I was like, mm, "Because." They're kind of not needed anymore. I still have an external one I can use if I need to, because I do actually still have some some games which uh, I have the CD-ROMs for, which I'm holding on to. Um, and I think that if you bought a game on CD-ROM and the game is available to, say, download on GOG or somewhere like that, I think if you own the game, you, you you should personally be allowed to be allowed to um, be able to download it. You know, in the cases of not having CD-ROMs and stuff. I get a lot of publishers that are no more from some of the older games. You know, it, it is a thing. Um, but you know, there are there are some games that I just like to, to play on on occasions. Like um, I know some of them have open source variants. Which I appreciate, you know, like uh, Theme Hospital is open, open Theme X or something like that. But I still enjoy the original sometimes. Yeah, I have to play it in compatibility mode and it doesn't look great. But, you know, I've got a Nintendo 64 and Goldeneye and I'm playing that on a LCD TV. And it looks grainy, it looks old, but it doesn't change the gameplay and the nostalgia and the fact that it it just is one of those games and yeah I've debated getting hold of an old CRT to run it on but what's the point if I get the same level of enjoyment from an LCD it's not always about how a game looks I know that's a bit of a contrary to what I've said about this game being in 4k and stuff but I'm talking about older games now it's not always about how they look, how, you know, sometimes it's just about being able to play them. So, uh, yeah, you know. But it's the same with old films, old films that you see on, on Netflix and stuff. You can see the graininess. Um, it's just, it is what it is and you just have to appreciate it for what it is, not what it looks like. Um, that's my stand on it anyway. Why change what is what is great, you know? I mean, there's one game particularly that I just... Well, there is no uh, no no game like it. It's, um, it's called Perfect Dark and it was on the N64. And it really was. It's just a... Uh, a great game. It was made by um, by Rare, you know, same people who made God and I. Uh, and Rare, when Rare were Rare, were a gem of a company. They made some awesome games. Once Microsoft bought them out, meh. They haven't. Yeah, there hasn't been anything fantastic from that company since. But hey ho, we know that all game studios get bought out, and uh, then you get things like. Um, EA which shove games out with bugs 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 and just make as much money as they can and they might fix the bugs later it really does depend on the uh, studio you know let's for example go back to the Mass Effect trilogy which was Bioware um, which got bought out by EA and then the, the sort of third one was just rushed and lackluster so uh, yeah and that sounds I'm not expecting any post I'm not expecting anyone at the door so I'm gonna carry on making this video yeah and there's a box fantastic so yeah sometimes it's just Nostalgia takes over, and that's that's all there is to it. Here we go again, and on to the worm tree. Oh, it's five minutes. 
Oh, we're hungry, of course we are. Nothing I can do about that. <laughs> Let's grab another grub tree. Oh, we've already had that one. Where are we then? Oh, we've already been over this side. We must have spawned there, actually, thinking about it then. Okay. Okie dokie. It is what it is. Yeah, we did. We spawned there, didn't we? Um, probably means we've... Oh, and we haven't got a lockpick. Of course we haven't. Although we haven't been this way, so we can get that worm tree. We may need to make a fishing rod and do a bit of fishing. Unless we can find a uh, protein bar. Or even get a chicken. There we go. What do we need to make a... Uh, we need to make some of these anyway. to make a bit of that. What do we need for that? Have we actually got any arrows? No, so we'd have to make some anyway. Alright, well, I'm going to end the video here, folks. Um, off camera, I'll do some, I'll probably eat. Um, I'm going to try not to do nighttime videos unless there's like an attack because it's it gets really dark and um, yeah, you guys, you guys probably want to see things when it's nice and light, and you can see what I'm doing and whatnot. So at night time, I'll just farm wood or anything else I need to do, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you here, folks. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I've been Survivor Marty. Peace out.